So on the left side, I've put one of these containers. I don't know how much is in this container. But I've also put, how many did I put over there? Four. Four. Okay. Put four of those things, which represent one. And on this side, what are there? Twelve. Ten. 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 Make sure there's, there's ten. ten. There's ten. Okay, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So both sides are equal, all right? But in algebra, which is definitely what we're doing here, uh, we want to know what the unknown quantity is. Okay. Now, well, why don't Lane, you come on up here? Come on up. Come on up. Come on up here. Come on up here. Lane, thank you for that. All right, so stand at the side so everybody can see. You got this unknown quantity. You have four of these here, and you have ten on this side. Can you manipulate the scale so that you can... Like, you can't just take it and put an X on this side and then just drop tokens on this side. But could you get X by itself on one side and then some tokens on the other side so that you know how much X is worth? Yeah. What would you do? You're going to take those four away? Go ahead. This side is heavier now, right? So you said you're going to do what? Take four off of this side as well. Why is it taking four off of both sides of the scale? Because they're equal. They will be equal. I know if I take four from both sides, they started equal and they'll end equal. So he did it. He, he did he manipulate the scale a little bit so that both sides are the same as each other. He knew before he even did it, right, that if he took four from both sides, that both sides would be the same. And so how many is worth? So this must be worth six. Okay. What is that? How many is that? Five. There's only five little tokens. What do you think of that? Plus a container must be the same as one. Obviously. Okay. Let's test it real quick. Is it the same as one? Yeah. Exactly. Container's got to weigh something. The people who made this, you know, they thought it through. But the container's going to weigh something. Let's make it weigh one. So whatever you put in there, you just add one for the container. Okay. Thank you, Lane. Well, thank you for saving me from this truck. Well, Good job, Lane. Good job. Great job, Lane. So just to quickly show what Lane did here. Um, he took these four off. He took four of these off. Since we took four off of this side, right, it made this side heavier, but if we take this four off as well, then we know that they'll balance out still. That's the kind of concept that we use in algebra when we are trying to get a variable by itself. Okay. So let's do this over again, but we're going to use algebra, algebra being symbols uh, as opposed to physical objects. Okay. So, what did this represent, did we say? X. X in an algebra <laughs> sense. And, and one of these represents what? One. The number one. So, if we were to say this represents an equation, what equation could we write with this uh, container here and these tokens and these tokens on this side? How could we write that using math symbols, Emma? X plus four equals uh, ten. Equals ten. Okay. This is a, well, a noteworthy thing, like something you might write in your notes. Four equals ten. The important thing that I want you to understand from all this discussion about scales, and equations, and so on, is that. This equal sign has been kind of mistreated and misused in, uh, in years past and by many, many students throughout history. Okay. 
here's how the equation, the, the equal sign has been used uh, quite a bit. So you have 5 plus 3, and you've been told in the past to, you know, find that, find that sum. <coughs> what is 5 plus 3? Eight. eight. And so we put an equal sign and we say 8. And so after doing this, writing this over and over and over and over throughout our lives, we start to think of equals as meaning uh, I did math, and this is what I got. Now, this isn't a false statement. It is true that 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. But the equal sign is not a symbol that means I did some math and got an answer. Okay? So that's how it gets used all the time. What does the equal sign mean? Equals. The same as uh, 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 Elaborate on that a little bit more. Together they make one large thing. The Together they as. make one large The same as x e plus 4 is the same oh, as. Together they make the same as. Exactly. This, this step over on this side, right, and this little dish here is the same as this little tray here, whatever's in this tray hey. on this side. So I want you to, from now on, think of the equal sign as saying these two sides are balanced with each other. They're balanced with each other. And again, why did Lane take four from this side and four from this side? To make them equal. To well, weren't they already equal? Yeah. So we took four from both sides so that they would... The green thing, the X equals, X equals, yeah. I'm wanting to know why did he do it to both sides? We took four away from this because, side. Because, because then you wouldn't be able to find out how many there were. You would only know, hey, I know. that much, that, that one's lighter than that one now, so... Okay, Emma? Because four of those equal four of those, so when you take away four on one side, if you don't take away four on the other side, all right. So yeah, if I take some stuff off of this side, but I don't take anything off of the other side, then one side's going to be heavier, and it's no longer going to be equal. So if I take four off of both sides, then I know that they're going to stay equal when I'm done. And I want you to think of every equation as a set of scales, that you have to do the same thing on both sides. Right? So now we'll do it symbolically, what Lane did in real life. Right? So how symbolically would we get x by itself. Would we subtract 4 from x? Well, would subtracting 4 on the left side, would that somehow leave x by itself? Yeah. It would, because plus 4 and minus 4 together are 0. zero. It's the same as saying taking these 4 off of the tray. Okay. Or if I could somehow cancel these out. Can I cancel these, each of these out in real life? It would be kind of a hard thing to do. Yeah? yeah. Well, if you take one away on one side, and then you take one on the other, can you keep on doing that? Right. What we're doing uh, symbolically looks a little bit more like this. Let me show you. There's more to this set of scales. All right, so I can take four from both sides, right? We can just take it away. Mm -hmm. Take it away. Or I could just do something that's equivalent to that, but that cancels out the stuff that I don't want to have. Let me show you what I mean. side we have to
other side's heavy. What's going to happen if I put one in that red dish? It's going to go down. The red dish is going to go down and the green thing is going to go up. Decide if the green is going to go up? Yeah. Let's see. This is all, this in itself is like a mini set of scales, right? So if I put one here, it have the same effect as taking one away, right? Because this goes down, pushes this down, pulls this up, and that side is now lighter, right? Yeah. So what does, why do you think that this is red then? Because it's different from the yellow one. You guys just don't have this life experience, yeah? Because it works. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh. So, so if we are like uh, balancing our checkbook, right, and we, we come to find that we have like a negative amount somehow, we've taken out more from the account than we put in, we say we're in the red, we have a negative amount. So, uh, to a lot of people, red is this color of negativeness. Okay. So, will this be like a, like a negative one? Yeah, because it drops. If I put one here, it cancels that one out. So it's like I only have three on this side. Okay. So it cancels that one out. So I need to come over here, I need to cancel one of these out. So there's effectively, there were 10, now it's like there's how many on this side? Nine. 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 We're canceling one of these out. Stop, 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 okay. Well, if I keep doing this, if I cancel out two, three, four of these on this side, I need to cancel out two, three, four on this side as well. Okay. The same as what Lane did, right? Yes. Yeah. Except for just the only difference is it represents what we're doing here with math symbols. I can't really take these four. How would I grab them? They're just They're lines on a page, right? Well, but if I subtract four, I've canceled out the effect that this four has on the X. I add four and I subtract four, it's like I've done nothing. And I'm just left with what on this side? Zero. X. X, yeah. X plus zero, which is just X. And so I need to do the same thing on this side. I need to make this number four fewer than it was. And that would make it six, and which meaning that the can is six. Right, which is what we found when Lane took four from this side and four from this side. There were six left. X plus zero equals six. Brandon? Mm -hmm. Did you have something? Uh, I was just going to ask if you took out all of the things that they balanced themselves out. If I took all of the ones out of the red, all or all of them, all of them, yeah. all of them, all of them. I certainly hope so. Take all of them out of there, and there, here, here. Yeah, indeed. Because on this side we have like this uh, this pivot point, and on either side we have a dish and a dish, right? So the dishes are the same. Same thing over here, and so both sides have exactly the same thing going on. Okay, and we know if we put one there, the side gets heavier. But if I put one here, okay. then it makes this side lighter, right? Like this tray. Like this is what actually, like what we actually have here. This is negative one. Yeah. So this side is one lighter than this side right now. Does that make sense? side is one lighter than that. Because this has nothing going on. There's nothing in here. We've, take, we've put a negative one here, so we've made this side one lighter than this. This is zero, and this side is negative one. Okay. So everything is a negative weight? If you put it here, it is. <coughs> if you put so it here, it's negative. If you put it there. <coughs> um, so if you spit on there, you'd be negative weight? Wouldn't that be nice? But no. You would, if you stood here, you would have the effect of lifting <coughs> this up and then having a, you know, like a negative effect on this, bringing it up away from the ground. Okay. And if there's a one in the negative tray and one in the positive tray, it's balanced out. 
And you can see, like, what equation can we see here right now? There's one in here, there's one in here, there's nothing over here. What equation would that be? Um, negative. Negative. X plus negative 2. There's no x's here. Right, which negative 2. No, it's not about this, but if you put one in the yellow on this mm -hmm. side and one on the red on this side, would it it'd even out, right? Yep. One there, one there, one there. Eventually. But if you take those two out, then it's still equal to the same. Still equal to the same. Yeah. Well, if you put one on each red. Now, if you wish to put two on Just one yellow. Just put one on each red. Then this one's going to pull up on this yellow, and this one's going to pull up on that yellow, and they pull up on the yellows the same. So it's still balanced. This would be the equation. <coughs> What, what is this tray? It's a negative tray, right? How many are in this tray? Negative, negative, negative one. one. So negative one Plus is equal to? Negative one. Is that true? Yeah. Well, obviously negative one is equal to negative one. <laughs> How about this equation? Um, what do we have here? Zero, zero equals? Equals negative two. Equals this zero. is a positive tray. Equals zero. one. Zero. One. And zero. Negative one. Zero. Zero. Negative one? Yeah. Negative one. One plus negative one and then negative one. Just pretty much just zero. Zero. One equals negative one. One does not equal negative one. No, one plus negative one is zero. One plus negative one equals zero. Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me that. So if we balance it out, it's all, it must be that all of these things are equal to each other. Okay. And if what we do to one side, if we do something to one side, we have to do it to the other. Not because it's a rule, not because it's a game, not because it's a trick, not because I said so, but because we need to keep both sides the same. They started the same, they need to stay the same. They need to stay equal to each other. If we mess that up, we'll never be able to figure out what X is. It'll be a total mystery. Aubrey? Yeah. 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 Now, this isn't to say that I want you to always <coughs> You know, pull out a set of scales every time you're going to solve an equation for x. That would be ridiculous. But I want you to stop thinking of equals as meaning I did some math and this is what I got. And more as both sides are like two sides of a scale. And I'm going to do everything that I do to keep them the same. Okay. So let's, let's use some symbols uh, and manipulate an equation like we would a set of scales to figure out what x is. Okay, so let's do a few examples. x minus 5 equals 10. I want you to solve that equation. x plus 3.2 equals 5.76. And x plus 3 fourths equals 5 sixths. Okay. Three equations. I want you to, in your notes, solve all three of those equations. Okay. So I have x minus 5 is equal to 10. Let me show you what that would look like. Okay. Uh, the problem with this, and I can't make this as heavy as it needs to be. x. <coughs> minus 5. We we'll just have to imagine that I put 10 here. Let's say there's 10 in that tray. The problem with this thing is I can't just throw x on there like I can there. I can just throw x on there. It can be whatever it needs to be. But I have to actually premeditate it, put stuff in this thing so that it's as heavy as it should be. So we just have to use our imagination that we have x. We're taking 5 away from it by putting weight in this negative tray. Right, but this tray won't, or this x thing won't hold as many as it needs to hold. Okay. So we'll just imagine that we have x minus 5, and that in this tray we have 10. Well, why don't you just do one of the other x barrels and then put 5 in it and say that's 10 and then put the other 5 next to it? Okay, so x <coughs> minus 5 is equal to 10. So how on this side would I get x to be by itself? Minus 5. Or Plus five. Oh, we put five, right, more on this side. Okay, but I can't just do that, can I? You can do it on both sides. So I add five to 
this side as well. So using our imaginations, imagine that, that there's 10 and now there's five more there. So I've added five, there's a negative five there. What's this negative five and this five? What are they doing? They're canceling each other out. Canceling each other out. The negative five and the positive five, they're just, they're making it so it's like there's nothing going on. There's not really any in the, you know, lifting it up, there's not really pushing it down. So it must be that x is equal to however many we have here because these are essentially, this five and this negative five are essentially canceling each other out and making each other do nothing. So if we look at that with our symbols, we would add five because this negative five and this positive five, they, they cancel each other out. We add five to the other side because we don't want to make it unbalanced. And we find that x is what? 15 five. Doesn't matter. Now we have, and we're trying to make a transition from you know, this physical stuff, which is really clunky to use, but it's a nice thing to visualize. Try to transition over to symbols. That's why we have algebra, because we don't have the time to set up these, <coughs> these uh, trays and these unknowns and all that kind of stuff. We'll do it symbolically. So if x plus 3.2, if I take x and I add 3.2 to it, I would get 5.76. So what am I going to do to this equation so that we just leave x by itself and on the other side we find, oh, that's what x must be. Somebody other than Emma. Avery. You have to minus 3.2 by itself and then cancel it out. Then. Canceled it out. Yeah, this is 3.0. On the side of equal signs and that equals. So x must be 2.56. x is a number that when you add 3.2 to that number, you get 5.76. And 2.56 fits the bill. Zach? Uh, oh, OK. okay. plus three fourths equals five sixths. X plus this three quarters is equal to five sixths. So how do I figure out what one X is? You have to find the common denominator. Just before that, there's got to be a reason. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so because there's a common denominator, you put your denominator in the before that. Okay. Subtract. Uh, three fourths and okay. fourths. Three fourths minus three fourths would be zero. So that essentially leaves X by itself. Really what it does is it, it's just zero. the negative and the positive thing are the opposite of each other. So what's left is only the equal to x. So we subtract 3 fourths from both sides because they started equal and they need to stay equal on both sides. It started balanced, it needs to stay balanced. So now because we want to find 5 sixths minus 3 fourths, and you can't take a fourth from a sixth, it's like taking an apple from an orange. Common denominator. Common denominator. That's 12. What is? Oh, the denominator is 12. And then you subtract the Times 2 times 2, so we get 10 twelfths. Times 3 times 3, we get minus 9 twelfths. 1 twelfth. X must be 1 twelfth. If I take 1 twelfth and I add 3 fourths to it, I get 5 sixths. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I give, I'm going to give you one problem for the weekend. One problem. One problem. 2x plus 3 equals 19. The thing that I want you to get in the habit of, though, is doing algebra. Think of the algebra as the manipulating of symbols, doing the same thing on both sides. I don't want you to just plug numbers in for x until you get it to be equal. Okay? That is a bad long-term strategy. Okay? Not a good long-term approach to 
Thank you.